Hi everyone. Welcome back to All That and Then So with Dewana. I'm Dewana. This is your first time here. Hey, how you doing? Glad you could join me. Hey, hey how you doing? Um, that's me. Uh, if you've been here before, hey girl, hey. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Boom. Um, what do I want to talk about today? I want to talk about the S word. You know what word I'm talking about. Let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. First, let's talk about my shirt. You see my girls? You see my girls? You see the rest of my shirt? Let me push up my boobies. Ugh. Thank you for being a friend. <laughs> Travel down the road and back again. But yeah, I love Golden Girls. All things Golden Girls, that's me. Um, if you don't know, if you haven't watched this before, if you didn't watch my intro, now you know. But today I want to talk about sex and why I'm not having it. And why I don't understand why young girls today, that's all you guys seem to talk about. Like, is sex. Um, so, I have been celibate since August 26, 2016. So, I'm almost going on two years. And before that, I was celibate for three, almost three years before that. And then I, you know, slipped up. Um, but I'm back. And I just want to talk about sex because I've seen a lot of young, mostly young girls put on Facebook. They're, they're talking about, um, I just want somebody who can ride it. Or on Snapchat, they're putting pictures up of um, positions that they would like to be in for the night. I just want to say this. If you're looking to be in a relationship or not even not even just that. If you're looking to just be having a casual sexual relationship, everybody don't need to know what kind of positions you want to be put in for the night. Everybody don't need to read on Facebook how much you would like to have an eggplant with the eggplant emoji in you right now. I'm just saying. You're talking to somebody who has readily admitted once upon a time not long ago I was a hoe. Uh, 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 uh. That was my song. But it came out like five years too late. Like if when I was a hoe it should have came out because I would have been walk walking around town just singing it. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, that's the Wanna song. That's what they could have said. But you know, you can change. If I can do it, anybody can do it. But the, it first starts with stop putting all your business on social media. Ladies, we have a problem with that. Like, first off, we have a problem with putting on there when we sad, mad, glad, happy, depressed, uh, goofy. Where, where do we get that at? I, I told my daughter the other day, now I'm going off course real quick, but I told my daughter the other day that there are no real friendship nowadays and friendships have been messed up because of social media like social media if you have a friend on facebook that don't mean that girl's your friend in real life if you have a friend on the gram who likes all your pictures but sees you in the street and don't say nothing to you that ain't your friend there's a lot of people that i'm friends with on facebook and when i see in the street i don't talk to them <laughs> i'm being honest because you know what i'm just nosy I like a lot of people's stuff on the gram. I don't know 90% of the people's stuff that I like. Are they my friends? Heck no. But young girls today have this thing of just telling all of their sexual feelings that they feel inside. And I guess they think, I guess it's like this millennials, they feel it's okay just to be so out there. But if you're looking to be in a relationship, a long lasting relationship, with somebody who truly loves you, that ain't the look. That's just not the look. And and guess what? I ain't just talking about girls who I don't know. I'm talking about girls who I know. You know, my own daughter does this mess. And I'm like, why? Why? 
What, where did y'all get that from? Was it one girl that started it and then all the other girls just picked up doing it? That's my question. Like, what what was the one girl who said, you know what, today I'm going to put a picture of a man sitting on my face or me sitting on a man's face and I'm going to post it on Instagram and say, mood. That's what they all say, mood. Like, can you be in a mood and have a book as your, as your picture on Instagram? Can you be in a mood and just have some food as your picture? Why has it got to be a sexual position? And, I, I mean, no, I'm not judging nobody. I'm just saying, y'all talk about, and then it's the same girls who put these pictures up who are complaining about there ain't no men out there. I just want to be loved. Oh, blah, 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 blah. This is why you ain't loved. This is why there ain't no men out there because there's so many of y'all females who are putting eggplants on your social media post and letting all kinds of men DM you and inbox you and you falling for the so-so. You falling for the, the bull. I wish I could think of my word of the day from a couple weeks ago because that word would work right now in this situation. You're falling, falling for those blather skites. There it is. Y'all falling right for all those stupid blaviskites. I almost cursed. Um, but it's nothing wrong. You know, sex is a good thing. Lord knows. I used to like it. I used to love it. Love, 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 love it. And I was good at it too. I was good. Sometimes I go on daydream moods. But there has to come a point in time when you're like, is this going to lead me? Is this the way I want to start a relationship? No. You want to start a relationship with knowing how to communicate, knowing how to talk with somebody who makes you laugh, getting to know somebody's personality, getting to know if, if this man has like lifetime goals, not just long-term goals, lifetime goals. You know, I don't want to get in a bed with somebody who don't know what he's going to be doing in the next five years. Because when he's getting in a bed with you, he's getting in a bed with you, her, 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 and maybe even him. Let's keep it all the way real. Y'all need to check it. Y'all need to check. That's why I said, can we talk? Because we need to talk. We need to talk about these things. These are things, and to me, this all has to do with knowing how, just being in love and learning how to love yourself. Because when you love yourself oh that much, you wouldn't put that, you wouldn't put that mess out there in the universe. Because that stuff don't go away. It's up in the iCloud somewhere, just hanging around, waiting just to come out and stab you in the back. Ten years down the line when you're walking down the aisle with your husband, he going to be saying, oh, here comes that man, here comes that cloud going to come down and be like, boom, look at this shot of my girl with her butt cheeks out. I'm just saying. It took me a long time to get to where I'm at where I'm okay with not having sex with anybody. I be like, I'm not having sex until I get married, point blank period. And I'm proud to be able to say that. Now, there's a, a lot of young girls now, they feel pressure to be sexually active, but in this day and age, it shouldn't be like that, y'all. It shouldn't be like that. We should be able to empower ourselves and know that we're worth a whole lot more than just putting on Facebook page and a plane emojis and hoping and hoping and hoping somebody gets in that DM and responds. I'm just saying. Y'all know I'm right. Y'all know I'm right. Don't y'all? Yeah, you do. All right, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Um, it's a new day. <laughs> it's a new outfit. It's a new hair. It's a new me. Um, I just want to come on so I didn't do my word of the day. Hey, hey, my word of the day. Hey, hey, I didn't do it a couple days ago. So I'm doing it today. Um, but before I really want to talk, I was talking about sex and how, um, we as women, especially young women, we need to stop telling guys that we want their eggplant with the eggplant emoji and stop talking about how much we want to do. It's all about respect, loving yourself. But I want to talk about why I decided to be celibate. Um, I rededicated my life to Christ almost five years ago. I believe it was in 2013. It'll be, it'll be five years this December. 
And um, somebody that I was in a relationship with in a long time would come over my house in the beginning and um, who would just come over to have sex with me. And I did it because I was used to having sex with them, you know. So I just thought, uh, you know, this is nothing bad. It's nobody new. So I think I got some bread stuck in my teeth, but. It was nobody knew, so it, was, it wasn't going to be harmful. But one day in April, he came over, bent me over the couch. And I feel like, I know I said no, it was so long ago. You know, I really don't remember. It's like over five years ago. Um, but I swear I said no. Because, you know, first of all, he had a lady, you know. So I shouldn't have been doing it anyway. But I said no, and... He did it anyway. So, you know, looking back now, to me, that was a former date rape, you know. But after that day was over, I remember sitting upstairs saying, why am I doing this, you know? What am I getting out of this? I'm not getting anything out of this, like, whatsoever. And that voice in my head, which I now know is my spirit, my holy, holy spirit, said, it's time for you to shut it down. It's time for you to stop giving yourself away to the ones who I didn't say were for you, you know. And um, that was it. Total lockdown. It was like I had a chastity belt on with a whole bunch of nuts and uh, uh, locks on it. Master locks, zip locks. <laughs> Any kind of lock you had, I had a lock on it. And, you know, and... When once you take sex out of the equation of a relationship, and you you get to to know learn somebody and talk to somebody and learn their personality and things they like and things they don't like that don't involve sex. When you do have it, that love you feel for that person is gonna be so bombastic, you know, like Mr. Lava Lava. Mm, Mr. Bombastic, the fantastic. Ooh, I don't remember the words, but you know the song I'm talking about. It's going to be so bombastic that the sex is going to be worth the wait. So that's what I'm going on. I'm waiting for my husband. You know, I made the mistake in 2016 thinking he was going to be my husband. So I let the goodies go. But as soon as that relationship was over, skirt. I, I went on lockdown, but truthfully, before the relationship was over, I was on lockdown. Like, I ain't doing this no more. No, I'm done. Um, but that was my reasons. Everybody else has their own reasons. I was, just, I was listening to a lady today, and she was talking about how she was depressed. So for the last year, she was drinking a lot, and her drinking led her to um, sleeping around with a lot of people. And that was me for a long time, too. I drank. I got drunk. I would black out. I would wake up in the bed with who? I don't know. I don't know who they were. I'll be like, who are you? Like, where did I get you from? And I used to be ashamed to talk about that. But now I know that's just part of my story. That's gotten me to where I'm at right now. And I'm proud of who I am now. I'm not I'm not the old Duana. I'm the new and approved Duana. You see this hair? You understand? Okay, okay. So now it's time for the word of the day. Hey, hey, the word of the day. Of the day. Hey, hey, the word, word of the day. Hey, hey, the word, word of the day. Now, if you ain't figured it out yet, I put my word of the day in my thumbnail. So, my word of the day is confabulate. That is spelled C O N F A B U L A T E. See how it says fab, like fabulous? Confabulate. We're going to confabulate for a few. In fact, I just confabulated with y'all. You want to know what it means? It means to engage in conversation, to talk. Can we talk for a minute? What if he wrote that song? He said, can we confabulate for a minute? Oh, snap. Tevin Campbell might have got some. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Tevin. Um... But yeah, throw that into a word, ladies. Oh my gosh, I don't know if there's men out there who get so um, fascinated and turned on by words like, 
I know a lot of women do like me. Um, but I wrote it last week, just last week, I wrote it in a letter. I had to write a letter of recommendation for somebody, and I was like, she's very easy, easy to confabulate with on a day-to-day -day basis about everyday tasks that are going on around the office. She was like, confabulate? Okay. I said, okay. <laughs> yes. So that's the word of the day. That's all I got for y'all today. So, um... Check me out. I'll be back next week. I'll be back next week. Hopefully. I know I say that and then I take a week off, then I come back. Then I take a week off, then I come back. I don't know. I'm trying to get it straight. I'm trying to get it straight. I'm trying to follow the vision. When he gives me some stuff, I'll be on here. But I need y'all to not only just, um, don't even, I would like somebody to push the like button. Do that for me. And then once you do that, go over to the little red bell and hit subscribe so that you can always get a notification when this, this Shapopin face comes on the screen and makes you laugh. That's right, Shapopin. That's my word. I need to copyright it. Because I'm Shapopin. Mm. Um, but join me again with all that and then some with Dewana. Okay? Until next time. Bye.